Hi everybody. So this video is going to be pretty much um, a tutorial type video. I just want to show everybody, let me log back in, how to use the community section and where to find the description for everything. So if you go, if you have the YouTube app and you click on YouTube and you type in Felicia Barton, I think I'm already, I am logged in. I have to switch the account. I'm gonna drink some water too. So you type in Alicia Barton. I'm already subscribed. So the videos will come up like this. This one is the twins try the Elvis Presley. But see that little icon where it's my little face for Alicia Barton channel. If you click on that, it'll bring you to my page. So from there, you can make sure that you're subscribed. If you wanna make sure you get all the updates for all of our videos, upcoming videos. So you can click that button to make sure you're subscribed right there. To find the community section, so see where it says home, videos, shorts, live. If you scroll this way, you'll see playlist and community. So you can click on the community section and it'll have any of the recent, it'll have all the posts that I've ever done. <laughs> so you can see the post about the sea monkeys and they are still alive in our bedroom. Um, so that's where the community section would be. Now, I scrolled back up, so we're still highlighted the community section. So there's a paragraph right here with a little arrow. If you click that arrow, that takes you to the channel description. So this is where our address would be, um, our PO box, any of the information that you might need would be in that section. Let's see, our Patreon is in there. So if you were curious about Patreon and how to sign up for Patreon, that's in there. Let's see, now if you wanted, a, let's go here, let's go to playlist. We're gonna click on the playlist. If you want a description on a video, you click whatever video. So I'm just gonna go with the first one, which is, that's their playlist of their swim lessons. So I click there. And I'm gonna click on the first, I'm gonna pause the video. Um, so this is twin, twins get swim lessons, lesson number two. Now the comment section is right here. So we're gonna click on the comments and you can see all the comments right there. But next to it, see the little more right there if we click that that's how you'll see how many views it has how many likes it has and a brief description of what we're doing so if they're trying a new food I probably should have picked that you'll even see when I shared the video so if they are trying a new food let's go back we'll go to their foods um, We'll do twins try a new snack. So we are on twins try a new snack and we're gonna hit more. Now underneath it says two year old Anastasia and Guinevere try Annie's gummies and fruit bars. So it'll give you the age. I have been trying to make sure that I put their correct age in there but it'll still show you how many views and all that good stuff and everything. Now, I've asked people that see really outrageously re like horrible comments, especially if they're about weight, whether it's my weight, the girl's weight, anybody's weight, a view, another viewer's weight. We don't, it's not very kind to talk about somebody's weight. So 
things like that or the girls are going to be this that or the other or anything that's really really mean spirited I've asked everybody to give a thumbs down and I'm going to show you why that really helps me so there's a thing called YouTube studio it's an app and that helps me see all the comments so I don't have to go to the specific video so in this YouTube studio I did type and ask if everybody could just give a thumbs down so that I could show everybody what it looks like now when I click let me go back so up here I click on this little bell this notification bell I click on that this is where I see all the comments so I can already see somebody giving gay gr gave a thumbs up Sarah gave thumbs down I didn't give you guys very much time to do this but um, this is where I can see all the comments so as I'm scrolling very quickly emojis stand out the, the most and the thumbs down emoji especially I'll go back up especially when it's a bunch of them in a row they stand out more than anything else so if it's been a rough day and it's really late at night and I'm like Ugh, I have to check and make sure that there's nothing terrible in these videos I will just sit there and literally do this pretty quickly and if I see an emoji I'll scroll back up to it see what the emoji is if it's a thumbs down then I'll go back up to the top since that's the comment so I see the thumbs down emojis all I have to do is click on it and it takes me exactly to the post so it gives me the post and all the replies which I can touch all the replies and see all the people that gave thumbs down and then I can read the actual post and see if I deem that it deserves to be removed um, so thank you to the people who saw this I really only gave you like five minutes to give me a thumbs down on that comment um, but it's it, it really does help a lot and there have been so many crazy comments about Gwen's hair um, rude comments about Gwen's hair and her hair is not going to be cut I am growing it out um, I keep saying um because I'm trying to be as nice as possible I'm growing her hair out her hair is going to be long there is a reason for it I don't want to have to continue to cut her bangs or fringe every three weeks that's a lot when you have to take care of two children so if I can have her hair grown out so that it can be tucked behind her ears that will be way more helpful and then when she's much older and decides she wants bangs or fringe she can have bangs or fringe but by then she'll know how to keep it out of her eyes and I won't be trying to take care of two toddlers <laughs> so i think i think that's it so i i definitely am going to be sharing the video i did a q a that's going to be shared tomorrow um i'm going to upload this video as quickly as possible so that i can share it today it's almost time to share today's video but i want to thank everybody who's been kind on our channel because that's that's what the channel was for it's it's to spread joy i did have i'm not going to say any names but i did have somebody i don't accept facebook requests from anybody um that i don't know in person but somebody did send me a message request and they just wanted me to know that let's see where is it her 90 year old mom had been diagnosed with congestive heart failure and she started to decline and hanging out in her bed more and more and they happened to come upon our channel and it lit up her life in her words lit up her life they always had something to talk about and some funny things to share and they laughed and and that that really is 
and we are going to if if this person is watching we are going to do um some bratwurst um in her honor and i'll talk more about her but that's what our channel is about it's about bringing people happiness and joy there's a lot of people that are are shut in and they have no friends or nowhere to go no one to talk to and the channel is just supposed to be there to make you laugh and watch the girls grow i'm not asking for any advice if i need advice i will ask i will probably 99.99999 percent of the time ask somebody in my family in my husband's family or the pediatrician for advice before i ask for it on youtube no offense to anyone but there there we have over 55,000 viewers subscribers and and that's not even half of the viewers that we have a lot of people are not even subscribed to the channel that watch it and if i asked for advice i'd probably get a hundred thousand different responses that's an awful lot and how do i know which ones are going to benefit me and which ones are going to harm me i don't which is why i would ask my pediatrician walt's family or my family which i mean we're all the same family now but that's uh, no offense to anybody i hope there is no offense taken i appreciate everyone that sticks up for me and my family and i just i i really it really really warms my heart when i read stories like this that that we are giving somebody joy that they didn't have that's what this is about now it started out as a channel that was just basically for family and my husband so that they could watch the girls grow and it grew into something so much more i can't express how grateful i am that it did grow and and how wonderful it is and i get true pleasure from the stories that i do read about you know how how i'm providing joy for somebody or somebody got happiness out of this or somebody reconnected with their mother or bringing up memories of of a loved one that was lost you know those are are exactly what i want to do you know and i think it's great that we are doing that um i do for the most part ignore the the negative comments and the mean comments and a lot of times you guys don't even see the really bad ones i just delete them immediately um the the comment section has gotten a lot stricter on uh the other channel there there were a lot of people that were so i i'm able to type in specific words um so that it filters out any super super mean comments so i'm able to filter out anybody that's calling me names or the kids names thankfully but there's still a lot of people that give their opinion in a very rude way so the thumbs down emoji that is the best way to because you're not responding to them you're not giving them fuel for their fire you're just notifying me hey this person said something not so nice so that i can decide if i should remove it or not so i just want to thank everybody for watching i hope this was a little bit helpful um especially to janice out there who continues to ask what the p.o box is on every video hopefully you'll be able to find the channel description now so that you can find the p.o box number and anybody else that has any questions um definitely ask it that's um, before i go i'll just show you real quick um on this youtube studio thing so when i hit comment up here at the top hopefully it'll focus i have the option there it goes to scroll over and click on contains question so if you have questions i can click on that and so this one it was posted 39 minutes ago it was not exactly the greatest uh comment but 
I probably won't respond to it. Somebody was asking on the Baba Ganoush video, why do I, why do they need to dip with every meal? You like dips, but you don't push dips on the girls, please. Um, I actually don't even like Baba Ganoush. My husband likes it. I prefer no dips. I don't actually, I don't even, if we have mozzarella sticks, I don't even dip my mozzarella stick in marinara sauce. So p questions like that, um, or comments like that are, they're not necessarily, you know, they're not necessary at all. Diane doesn't know me. She doesn't know if I dip my food or not. I don't even like ketchup, so I don't dip things in ketchup either. <laughs> okay, so the camera, apparently the battery was exhausted right before it cut out. I was about to say, here's a good question though. Jessica Goodwin asked, where do I find all of these interesting foods? I've never heard of some of them. So Jessica, I'm going to answer you on this video and I will also type it, the response, but I find all of these interesting foods at the regular grocery store. Um, the store I usually shop at is ShopRite. I occasionally shop at Acme. And sometimes people send us these interesting few, uh, foods. So she commented that on the Twins Tribe Peel de Sapo, which the sticker on the melon did say Peel de Sapo, which is toad skin in Spanish. I did not know that until I got home. I just said, oh, this is a new melon we've never tried before. So that's where I found that melon. I found it at ShopRite in the produce section. I usually walk around with the girls sometimes. I take them with me shopping and I usually just walk around the produce section and look at all the new foods that um, I've either never seen or they're a fun color or you know, just something different. So I do find a lot of foods that way, just walking around the produce section. Sometimes I do find new foods in the freezer section as well. Um, a lot of times it's in the ethnic sec sections. Um, so check out those sections too. So thank you so much for everybody for, for watching and for supporting us. And I, I really hope everybody has a wonderful day and i'll see everybody tomorrow on the other channel <laughs> i still have a few things that i have to cook for this channel a few videos that i'm going to be doing so i think the blackberry curd is going to be next i think that's what i'm going to do it's either going to be cookies or curd so i hope everyone has a lovely wonderful day and uh, we'll see you later bye